J-Rob is in the building. That joint right there was fire. I would love to hear about the flow because he went into like three or four different flows on that joint. And it yeah. really sounded, it really was dope. Yo, welcome to the show. Welcome to the producer's point of view. Tell everybody which, what's your name and where you from? Oh man, my name is J-Rob, J-R-O-B, and I'm from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Michigan's own. Michigan's <laughs> own. Shout out to my guy, Proudy, Proudy Al, for, for plugging me in. Like, I, I'm, I'm blessed to be able to talk to different artists from all over the world, but I definitely enjoy talking to you guys from the Michigan spot. I don't even say Detroit, Detroit, Michigan, because I always screw that up. So from Michigan, yeah, we, Grand uh, Rapids, let's, let's get it yeah. correct. Let's, let's get it yeah. correct. So tell me what life was like before pandemic out there for you as an artist, because I see you get, you, you're involved with a lot right now. Yeah, man, shoot, man. We, we was uh, tearing up the, the stages, man, you know, and then everything came to a halt, man. It's like a, an artist nightmare, you know what I mean? But, um, you know, just like just like all the other artists out here, man, we we found ways to to stream and 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 do other things, and it it, it and it worked out better, you know what I mean, for for myself, you know what I mean. So right, so um, you learned a lot, yeah. In, in the loss, you you had a lesson in the loss, basically. For sure, for sure, yeah, yeah, for sure, man. Learn learn how to how to really sell some merch, you know what I mean, and and um really just get people in tune with listening to the music getting your streams up and all that. So that was really dope. Right, learning man. that side of the market. And it, it was probably necessary because doing all that performing and not doing the other side, the back end stuff could, you know, hurt a career too, unless you got a big team that's doing all that for you. And I know a lot of independents and entrepreneurs do a lot of th different things for themselves. So because you didn't have to rush to run out and hit a stage, you could have time to figure out how to do some of this, this social media stuff on the back. Are you, are you into social media? Yeah, I am, man. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm getting better day by day. You know what I'm saying? I, I wasn't really too, too good at it, but you gotta be on social media. You gotta, you gotta stay in tune, man, with people, you know, that are on social media, just so you can get your music heard and, and get yourself, you know, seen. Yo, Jay, I would say, look at us right now. You in your whip. I'm in, I'm in a whole nother location. I'm not even in the studio right now, but yeah. we're talking to each other and we, we still being effective. And I think that's what we, what we learned in this, in this pandemic going on year two right now we've learned how to pivot and and figure yeah. out how to how to still be you know out here without being out here so to say be in each other's sure. space we don't have to be and now look you're you're in you are you in uh michigan now yeah i'm in michigan you're yeah, in yeah. michigan now and we're talking like we're sitting right next to each other so that, i think yeah. that's the dope part about technology yeah. and and the growth during this this terrible time so tell me how long you've been how long you've been at rapping like what was your Man, what would, you, would you feel I, like when you would you first started really taking it seriously yeah. For sure, as you know, like you know, like most artists, man, I've been rapping my whole life. You know what I mean? Um, started off with poetry, actually, but um, yeah, but taking it serious as an artist, man, probably about six years. You know, I've been going strong. I could I could call myself a veteran where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it, it takes time. It's all about the marathon. Shout out to Nipsey, um, who taught us that, man. It's it's all about the the marathon and not the sprint. Exactly. Shout out to Nipsey. I played that drop early. I got a chance to, to sit and, and uh, engineer an interview of him um, in New York City when he first came to New York City back in 09. Um, when yeah. he came home. So to, and to see his growth, what he's been doing for the community was 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 great. Like in that in that 10 year span, he really he put on a lot. So I, I see you getting busy and you work with the, the community as well. So tell me about some of your community work and, and things that you're fighting for right now. Yeah, man, just uh, just always trying to stay in tune with my community, man. We we've done things like back to school uh concerts. Um, um, one other thing that I'm really big on is autism awareness. Um, you know, uh, and I'm I'm so big on that because um, I was once in a household with with someone who had autism. Um, so uh, it it really affected me, and I seen it up close and personal. So, um, we try to do that, you know, every year. Um. Uh, for autism awareness, uh, some years we've had we have missed it, but um, you know we're getting back on the ball with it, um, with you know benefits for autism awareness. Man, that's something that's really big, you know, um, with me. That's dope. That's dope. I, and we salute you for doing that too, because definitely we need we need that um, autistic people, autistic people, kids, adults, like in all the same need need the same uh, same and even more love. Um, sure. than, than others. And sometimes they don't need as much as people try to give them because they, they are still human. They just have that, they had that going on, but a lot of them make adjustments or made adjustments early in life 
and they may have a, a, a physical uh, attribute that looks a little different than us, but their mindset might be a lot more sharper than some people yeah. out here in For these sure. streets, right? For sure. And everything that's going on. So tell me what was life like being in Michigan when they had the situation with Flint? I know it's not the same town, but just yeah. the city being targeted and, and looked at and people flying. I remember people like my son and them flying out and driving out in trucks to bring water there. So tell me what that was like um, growing up in that area. Uh, for sure, man. Flint, Flint is a little ways away from, from Grand Rapids. It's probably about two, two hours. Right. Um, I was, I was fortunate enough to go down um, when the whole thing had just started happening, you know what I mean? And, and do a benefit concert with some other artists from all, they were all around, man. It was Atlanta, New York, everywhere. Um, we just all came together and, and you know, of course, um, the main objective was to provide water. And, but once you, once you hit the ground in Flint, you really feel a difference, you know what I mean? You really, like, yeah, hey, we talk about it. Uh, they need water, the water, this and not. But when you go down there, you feel it. You know, you, you feel there's a need, you know, for resources. You know what I mean? And it, and some of it is more than just water. You know what I mean? So shout out to artists like John Connor, who is from from Flint, um, you know, doing a thing to to help their community get better. You know, because uh, it's still they still in that man, and it's it's, it's unfortunate. Word. So, all right, so tell me what what fun have you been having with the music? Um, yeah. Some of some of more of your fun times. Let's, let's let's put that energy out there so people can understand how how, how you've been yeah. living with you know enjoying it. Like what what what's the what's your favorite part? Performing, creating the music, or uh, creating, making it, performing it, or distributing? It? Yeah, those three. Yeah, my I'm a performer, man, and um, you know the stage is is where it's at for me. You know what I mean? So. A lot of people that come to my live shows, man, they they always bigging me up, you know, telling me like, yo, you one of the best I ever seen perform, you know what I mean? So um I take that, I take performing like, you know what I'm saying, like game time, you know what I mean? But I also like making the music too though, you know, we have fun. Um with my music, you know, you're gonna get everything. You get serious subjects, you get realness. Um, but you also gonna catch a vibe too, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So it's 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 all different ways it could go with me, you know what I mean? I'm a lyricist at heart. All right, that's dope. Well, it's good to I'm I'm definitely gonna tap into your YouTube and see exactly some of your performances. I'm sure you got some of that up there. What's your YouTube so people can check that out? My YouTube is at J dot R O B, a uh, capital R lowercase O, capital B. All right, yeah, when I post this video, I'll tag it so that people can actually yeah. see it in the, in the credits. All right, so um, is, in terms of um, entertainment, uh, what should, what type, what style do you feel like you you put out that people enjoy? Do, do people enjoy enjoy your messages? Do they enjoy your party records, or or is it all all inclusive? When you man, it's all inclusive, man. It's it's everything, man. Um, last year we were able to um uh get on NPR Tiny Desk concert series um dope, and the, dope, song, dope. the song the song was serious those it was called black superheroes one of my one of my best songs i can say that i have put out there you know it had meaning to it um and uh we got really far in that contest you know we almost won so um shout out to npr um yeah and uh man just everything bro i i, I mean shoot just a little while ago i released a, a track with be the ruler um, he's an industry guy from Grand Rapids, Michigan, man. And that song is, is hella fun. You know what I'm saying? Wait a minute. It's called Wait a Minute. So make sure y'all check that out. You can stream that everywhere. Um, J-Rod featuring Vita Ruler and E-Will. All right, nah, that's dope. That's dope. So yeah, uh, the record that we played, um, where, where can they find that at on, on the streaming sites right now or on your website? Uh, man, they can find that on Apple Music, Spotify, um, you can go to my website, which is jrobsmusic.com. Um, and that's my Instagram. Uh, if you go to my bio, I have all the links uh, in there for your choice. Whatever whatever streaming preference is yours, it's in there. And Money Bags is, 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 a, is, a, is, a, is a joint that you want to listen to and that you're going to vibe to and that you're going to... That's how I was just about to ask. How did you come up with the, with the, with the, the, the song named Money Bags? What, what inspired that? Yeah, man, it just, um, when I first heard it, man, shout out to V12, the hit man, you know what I'm saying, a producer that I've been uh, uh, blessed to work with. He's another industry guy. Uh, shout out to him. Um, 
But yeah, when he when he uh sent me, he sent me a pack. And uh when I heard this one, man, it sounded like Gotham City. You know what I mean? It was like Joker time. We're gonna go get the money, you know what I mean? So that's why I titled it Money Bags. That's dope. The Jokers, the Jokers, the, the Joker in Dark Knight is one of my favorite villains. And uh, he yeah. dropped so much jewels in that, especially as an entrepreneur. If you're good at something, never do it for free. Like for he sure. dropped another joint. He was like, it's not all about the money. Remember, he burnt all the money. Like, yeah, he, he was really like showing like it's not really about it's not really about what y'all think it's about. I don't I think it went over right. a lot of people's heads. Like he wasn't yeah. out there just doing like he had a point. And I think people when they do music. You need to have a point, some some point of reference on what you want people to take away from your music, whether it's positive, whether if you just want to talk about drinking lean and chilling, whatever it is, you just got to be clear on what you want people to support because that's how yep. people get attached to music. Um, right, I agree. So definitely, I, agree. I, I definitely salute that. So what's the next record that you got? You got anything else out now that you that you want to follow up with that record? Yeah, man, Um, I'm just working right now. I'm working with, uh, still working with V12. I'm also working with another artist by the name of A1 and a producer by the name of Troy Caesar. Um, we're working, we, we're probably about to wrap up here in the next couple of weeks, man. So um, that's gonna be coming at you soon. Troy Troy Caesar is like, a, um, if I could compare him producer wise to anybody, it would be like a Jay Dilla or DJ Premier. Um, he's, he's the genius. So yeah, we, we've been locking in the studio. Like, you know, a lot of times I just go to the studio, record the song by myself, but we've been locking in and making the music together. So, uh, shout out to those guys. That's coming real soon. That's dope. So like I tell everybody that I rock with, like this, this begins, this is the beginning of our relationship and it's definitely not, you know, nowhere near the end because this is, you know, I, I'm, I'm proud to be a part of, to be a producer and a, and an influencer in the game that I get a chance to work with artists at the very beginning. And I know, you know, some people may enjoy when the, the super polished artists come, but I promise you that the conversation is nothing like talking to somebody that's not on compared to somebody that, that's on. It's so much more substance that we can go and so much things yeah. that you could talk about what you want to do. Once you get on, yeah. you're out of here. Like <laughs> you, you just think about whatever next city you got to go to, what next chick you trying to lay up with if you a chick type of, right. or, or, or or if you're a or female, you know, what type of new head do you about to get done? Shout out to my girl, Didi. That's a plug <laughs> for her, because she's about to have a whole, whole, whole hair salon popping in, in, um, in uh, Florida. Um, yeah, Florida. yeah, but so I, I think that it's, for me, it's special when I get a chance to talk to you guys, because I know that I'm going to gain something. And then for the next interview, I'm going to be able to say, yeah, I spoke to my man, J-Rob from, from, from Michigan, and he, um, you know, he told me X, Y, Z, and I, and now I, I'll, I'll plug that into the, the conversation, depending on what, like you worked in with the autism situation. So now yeah. if that comes across my desk where they doing that type of charity, who I'm a call first, J Rob, yo, J Rob, you want to perform at this joint? And trust me, it's going to happen. And you'll get the call and you'll be like, oh yeah, definitely. I'm in it. If you can make much it. Brother, and brother. that's how we need to grow together as, you know, as, as media and this industry, independent industry, because there's, there's definitely your mainstream. And then you got the, independents that are on the way to mainstream and I'm I'm right there with it. So right. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. man. And on, on my side, as we follow each other and you follow me on the gram, you see me doing things on Clubhouse. If there's anything that you need from my side, you say, yo D, I, I seen you interview XYZ producer. You didn't give me his number or whatever. It's nothing. Like we in this we in the loop right now. I'm gonna be circulating the music. Um on our website is dsmbx.online and there's actually a, a 24 hour a day website where you do a drop. Um, I play your record, it spins and it's rotated to BDS and all that. So um, that's how that's, you know, that's how we keep it going for the independence. So you registered Dope. as long as your music is in the system, ask Kappa BMI or CSAT or whatever else you you rec you, you on, then you're gonna get those those spins coming from the Matrix Studios out the Bronx. That's Dope, man. Dope. Dope. We need we need that. So salute to you and 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 your whole team. What y'all got, you know, what y'all doing for artists. That's 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 major and we need it, you know what I mean? Right, right. Yeah, I'm sitting here thinking about the interview now. I, got, I probably got like 10, maybe 12 interviews that because it was my birthday week, so I was traveling, so I didn't get a chance to edit them all. But once yeah. I start doing them, like I got a whole different thought now. My my, my web, my, my Instagram is going to like world star. Like that's how many artists I got right now that yeah. I could just put up little <laughs> clips of the interviews and positive things that we all was talking about. So as I'm editing, I'm going to chop them out. So you're going to see your joint drop too. And oh. I, I definitely appreciate Potty party out for sending, you know, sending in the, the, the information my way, because I, I enjoy talking to you guys just as much as you guys like to be uh, interviewed. I say it works out, you know, no robbery. It was a fair exchange, no robbery, they say. 
<laughs> no doubt. But yeah, let, 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 let the people know anything else that you, you want them to know about you and the music that you got coming out and where to find it at. For me. Yeah, it's in tune with me once again. My name is J Rob, J period, capital R, lowercase O, capital B. Um, you can find all my music on any streaming platform. If you're on IG, you know what I mean? You can go on IG, click my bio. That'll send you to the link to anything that you're on that you're listening to your music on, uh, you know. So, yeah, just stay in tune with me, jrobsmusic.com. Once again, is my website. And, um, yeah, just stay in tune with me on social media at jrobscampaign. I'm here. I, and I got I got a I got a final question. It may not be the final question, but I'm gonna say it just in case it is. Um, yeah. So who who influenced you? Like uh, coming up, who was some of? Give me three people that you looked at. You was like, you know what? Those are the people that I want to tailor my 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 career, my my flow, and my my style behind. And it doesn't have to mean who you copied or whatever. Just who yeah. inspired you, like in in the game. For sure, man. Uh, Nas. Um, he's number one on my list of all time. <laughs> um. Uh, a tribe called Quest. Um, you know, one of my first tapes I ever got was a tribe called Quest. Um, fun fact, so fun fact about DWI is I had a chance before Fife passed away. I he was recording a sports show with my man. Um, with with with, with, with me and my my couple of guys from from the station. I can't get his name. Um, but because because I'm thinking about it now, I can't remember the name. Yeah, yeah. The interview. But that was I had a chance and. I didn't even get a chance to fan out, like, you know what I mean? Because he was <laughs> definitely just like how you feel about him. That's how I felt about him. But yeah. When you're in the business, you got to, you know, that's like if, if he calls you to do or, or Q-Tip calls you to do a record right now, yeah, you're going to be excited, but you still going to get to work. Like, so me, I was right. always in work mode trying to impress him to make him feel comfortable. And he was dealing with a lot, you know, his sickness during that time. So I got a chance to be a part of his, some of his last years in, in, in on, on, on his earth in media. So that was, that was a fun fact. So the rest yeah. of the piece of pipe, though. Oh man, that's that's super dope. That's super dope. Uh oh man. And and Kanye, Kanye West, man. You know what I mean? I got I got a lot of Chicago. I mean, I'm from Grand Rapids, but yeah, you, you Chicago in the same sentence, you know what I mean? With that. All right, so Shout let's talk Kanye. let's talk a little bit about Kanye, because I'm the same way with Kanye. And, I, and now we see we see his uh his influence start to spin around it, it through the whole the the other president that was in, they tried to they they people tried to put him with that and make him into everything that he wasn't because he's been the yeah. same person that he's been throughout his whole career. The fact that that he talked crazy or he said the president don't like black people, we loved him when he said that. But then yeah. like, he said something else and now it's like, now nah, he's the villain. So, you know, again, right. in, in that Batman movie, and you live long enough, you, the hero live long enough to be, to be the villain. That's what I see happen to yeah. Kanye. But I definitely salute him and you for, because that's one of the people, that, me producing, I'm a producer first. So me producing beats, he was one of my yeah. one of my top three as well. So, dope, dope. Yeah, got Kanye. the same the same vibes. Yeah, Kanye ain't telling us nothing wrong, man. He's telling telling us to do what you know. what I'm saying what we what we feel is right. You know what I mean? So I don't agree with the whole being with Trump thing, but you know yeah. what I mean. I, that's his thing. You know what I mean? Right, so, right. and and again, that that was a time that, that it wasn't like he was going. He, he, he probably not hanging out no more. That was the whole right, political. Right. Uh, clout chase type of thing that both of them probably they, benefited in whatever. They, they yeah, did what they yeah. did. But um you yeah. learn you learn from that. You learn from people's losses, you learn from people's um wins as well. So um yeah, yeah. so that was that was my um that was my final question. But I, what I like to do on the because I, I I stream live on the on the gram so people can hear you live and they can follow you up right now. I want you to give your Instagram out again and then I'm gonna play that record on the outro. We'll be done here. Oh, and you can you okay. can um you can definitely shout yourself out and then I'm a, I'm gonna run this song again. Okay, no doubt, man. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at J Rob's Campaign. All right, and you heard it, y'all heard it right here first. The producer's point of view. Um, sh again, shout out to Potty Potty Al. That's my guy from from Michigan, and he definitely holds me up with with some of these dope new artists. Um, this song will be going into rotation, so you'll be seeing posts come up, and it'll it'll let you know when it's playing with the link and all that. Swipe up links and all that, and you can just tell people your song is being rotated in New York City, and it's very easy to listen to it. And my station is popping because I got a bunch of dope artists and a bunch yeah. of drops, and we actually got commercials, so it makes them feel right at home, like good old yeah. radio should be. All right, yeah. um, but yo, good good looking out for your time, and um, let's get into the no, money back joint. Shout it out one more time. Oh man, my name is J Rob, and this is my song titled Money Bags. Bump that.
put it on your playlist, play it a hundred times. <laughs> This is another DWI production.